popular Chinese actor Zhang Zihan won't be cast in movies anytime soon. <laughs> you can't find his old films or TV shows on any of the major streaming networks in China, nor can you listen to his songs or follow him on social media. He's been cancelled. It emerged that he has taken some photos. Um, of at some uh, Shinto shrines in Japan. Um, one of them was the Yasukuni shrine, which is uh, very controversial uh, in China and Korea for housing the spirit of uh, World War II uh, war criminals. Zhang's visit was seen as a betrayal of Chinese nationalism, and his apology and plea of ignorance did little to quell the backlash from the public. While furious fans condemn and boycott celebrities all over the world, in China, they're frequently empowered by the government who can and do declare some big names, persona non grata. The government-affiliated China Association of Performing Arts issued a statement denouncing Zhang for severely harming the national feeling and bringing baneful influence to his young age group audience. And as a result of that, um, he was blacklisted, so you can't, you can no longer uh, see the shows. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. they also get rid of the names of the actor from the show, so you can still see the show, but you can't actually see who is the actor, even when they are the main actor, they're not listed there. The famous have become the latest target in Beijing's war on pop culture and idolatry, a crackdown that has ensnared reality TV genres, so-called sissy men, and what it calls the decadent ideas of money worship, hedonism, and extreme individualism. So the government wants the celebrities, um, and in fact, culture and arts in general, to serve a higher purpose. And the higher purpose, according to the government, is uh, what they call socialist core values. Outsized salaries have also become a flashpoint. Internationally recognised actor Fan Bingbing disappeared from public view for four months in 2018. Her absence coincided with revelations she had been paid 60 million renminbi for a film but reported only 10 million to the tax authorities. When she eventually emerged, she was fined for tax evasion and publicly pledged loyalty to the state, writing on Weibo, I have failed my country. Similarly, award-winning actor Zhen Xuan was blacklisted after being fined for tax evasion and accusations she had abandoned her children. Such profligate behaviour doesn't fit in with Xi Jinping's cause for common prosperity. They're trying to encourage more equality, or at least discouraging hyper-visible um, hyper-inequality. And the fact that some celebrities are so rich they can um, show off their wealth is a problem under the common prosperity um, narrative or framework. And the reasons for some cancellations are not always immediately apparent. Actor and filmmaker Zhao Wei was scrubbed from the internet in August. It's like she didn't exist and there's been no explanation as to why. No, it's not just be doing things that's illegal. It's um, doing things with that's immoral. And morality is not so well clearly defined. It's not written down in laws. So it's hard to know exactly where the line lies. For those celebrities who are able to stay on the straight and narrow, fame and popularity awaits. For those who don't, well, we're unlikely to hear from them again.